Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a bottom bar with a nested navigation in your application using a Jetpack Compose. Now, I have received uh, many messages uh, regarding this uh, topic, so that's why I have decided to create uh, this video. Anyway, uh, at the moment of recording this video, in the official Android developer's documentation, there is no any specific documentation that describes uh, how to achieve this specific uh, scenario. And I suppose that there are actually multiple ways of uh, achieving this. Anyhow, uh, I have already prepared uh, one project that I want to share with you. Now, before I uh, get into that, I want to open up uh, this uh, sketch which I have prepared so you can see how our navigation graph or the actual navigation in this project uh, will actually work. So we're going to have a one root navigation graph and this root navigation graph will actually contain uh, three different uh, navigation graphs. Now the first uh, two graphs are authentication and a home navigation graph. Now each one of those contain uh, three different screens. And this uh, second uh, home navigation graph will actually contain a uh, bottom navigation. So each one of those screens will represent an item in a bottom bar. And this uh, third uh, nested navigation is uh, called the uh, details. It contains uh, only two uh, screens and uh, we will be able to access uh, this nested navigation only from our uh, home screen, for example. Okay, so that's how I have prepared this uh, example project. Now let me uh, show you the actual project itself. So let's run this application one more time. So for the demonstration purposes, I have simplified this project, so don't worry about the actual UI. Uh, so when we launch our application, the first uh, graph, uh, navigation graph, which we're going to see, will be this uh, authentication graph. So this first screen is, of course, a login screen. And we also have those two uh, text elements, which will lead us to each one of those screens from our authentication graph. For example, a sign up screen and this uh, forgot password screen as well. Now this is a one navigation graph inside our root navigation graph and once I click on this uh, login uh, text then we're going to open up our uh, uh, home navigation graph. So let's do that and as you can see in our home navigation graph we can see the actual uh, bottom bar. So our bottom bar contains uh, three different screens for now. There we go. And uh, from our home screen we will be able to access our nested navigation graph called the details graph. So let's click on that. And there we go. So now we have our details uh, navigation graph, which contains this information screen and this uh, overview screen as well. Okay. So there we go. Now we can access uh, this nested navigation graph and all other navigation graphs very easily. Okay, so now that you have seen the actual uh, navigation graph uh, sketch and our application, now I'm going to go through this uh, project itself and uh, explain you how this uh, actually works. So the first thing, let's start with our main activity. So our main activity contains this uh, root navigation graph in which we have passed the nav controller. Okay, so this is our root navigation graph. It contains uh, one nav host in which we have specified that a nav controller which we have passed from our main activity. The start destination of this uh, root navigation graph is our authentication graph. And of course, uh, here we have authentication navigation graph and uh, one screen, a uh, home screen. Now, this is our uh, graph object. Uh, it basically contains the roots uh, of uh, each and every navigation graph which we have in our application. Now, you can see that here uh, I have passed this uh, nav controller only to our authentication navigation graph because our home screen or home route contains a different navigation graph. So let's uh, first open up this um, authentication navigation graph. So there we go. Uh, this navigation uh, graph contains this um, uh, navigation function, which will basically construct a, a nested navigation graph. This is actually an extension function on a nav graph builder, which is the actual scope of our nav host. There we go. It, of course, accepts one nav controller. Uh, the route is uh, the graph authentication. The start destination in our authentication uh, graph is uh, authentication screen login. So as you can see here, we have uh, three different screens or three different composables. So a login screen, then a sign up screen and um, forgot password screen as well. Down below we have also one uh, seal class which represents our uh, authentication screen uh, graph. So a login, uh, sign up and forgot. There we go. Um, let me just uh, go back here. And the second screen here, which we have in our root navigation is our uh, home screen. So this uh, home screen represents our home graph. 
and let's open up that home screen. So here we are using a scaffold, and inside the scaffold, in the content lambda of this scaffold, I have specified a home navigation graph. As you can see here, our home screen contains a separate navigation controller, which we are passing to our home nav graph. And our home nav graph actually contains another a nav host. Okay, so for each nav host, we need a separate nav controller. And if you check the official developer's documentation, then you're going to see that uh, each nav controller uh, must be associated with a single nav host composable. So that's why our uh, home uh, navigation graph contains a whole separate navigation controller, which we are passing to our home nav graph. And as you can see, our nav host contains a route, which is a graph home route. The start destination is our uh, home screen from our bottom bar. And here we have uh, three different composables for each and every screen. Okay, now our home screen uh, actually contains that uh, bottom bar, so down below I have also implemented this uh, bottom bar, so as you can see I have created a list of uh, three different uh, bottom bar screens, so each and every bottom bar screen basically contains uh, a unique route, the title and the icon, so there you go, simple as that. And uh, down below for each uh, one of those items from this list I'm creating a new item for our uh, a bottom navigation, so there you go. So don't worry, the source code of this project uh, will be available for you to check it out in the video description. Uh, as you can see, our home navigation graph uh, contains those uh, three screens, but also it contains a nested navigation graph called the details nav graph. And that uh, nested navigation graph contains uh, two different screens, uh, information and the overview, okay? So there you go, that's how it works. And uh, one more important thing here to note, so uh, whenever we navigate uh, from our home screen to our details uh, nested navigation, then we are uh, programmatically hiding our uh, bottom bar, okay? Because this uh, bottom bar is inside our home screen, and inside our home screen we also have that uh, details navigation graph. So that's why we need to create the logic to actually hide our bottom bar whenever we navigate to our details screen. I have created here the logic, so, so here uh, we are displaying our bottom navigation, only if our current destinations are uh, bottom bar destinations, which are actually uh, those three, home, profile and settings. So only if we are currently at those uh, three destinations, only then we are going to show and display this uh, bottom navigation. Otherwise, that uh, bottom bar uh, will be hidden. And that's basically how we have uh, managed to implement our bottom bar with uh, nested navigation. I hope that this video will uh, help uh, a lot of developers. And also, once again, the source code of this project uh, will be available uh, down below in the video description, so no worries there. And also, one more important thing, so uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.